In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Photo Merge Group Shot. This allows us to be able to go in and pull different parts of an image into another very quickly and very easily to combine for the best possible shot. Let me show you what I mean here. As you can see, I have Group Shot 01 and also Group Shot 02 open, and I've imported these directly within the organizer. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate the before and after of these two images is just drag this little thumbnail slider directly across to the right. And as you can see within the first shot here, we have four people and the first person is blinking. Then the other three are all looking good. Now, if we come down to the next image, you can see that the first person is smiling and not blinking. And these two are looking good, except this person on the right is actually blinking. So we really need to combine this area of this photo into the one above. And the way we do that is quite easy. Photoshop Elements does all the hard work for you. All you need to do is go in and first isolate the right area between two different images. So let me just take these thumbnails back down to normal size. And I'm going to select both of these images just by clicking and dragging across them. And then I'm going to go up to File, down to New, and come across to Photo Merged Group Shot. What's going to happen now is Photoshop Elements is going to take both of these images into the Editor Workspace. It's going to align both of the images, even though they're at different zoom levels, they're now going to be aligned and transformed on top of each other. And also, I'm going to be presented with a new sort of appearance. As you can see here on the right, I now have a photo merge group shot panel appearing. This has a whole lot of information that can tell you exactly how you need to use this feature. And within the middle, we have a source window and a final window. What this basically means is we need to find the shot that is the best one or the one that we want to use as our base image. So if I click between them both, I can see this one here is actually the one where this person is blinking and these three people are looking quite good. So what I need to do once I've found that is drag it from the project bin straight up into the final box just here. And now you can see I've set that in place. What I'll quickly do is I'll grab the zoom tool and I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit on this person here so we can see the blinking. And now within the source window, I need to find the image where this person here is looking good. So once I've done that, I want to take this face and put it within this image so I end up with one completely good looking photo. So to do this, I'm going to grab the pencil tool. With the pencil tool active, all you need to do from the source window is click and drag over just the area you're trying to maintain, just like that. And now you can see Photoshop Elements has taken this part of the image and combined it beautifully on the final image just here. So if I was to zoom out now, just by holding down Alt with the zoom tool, you can see I've now got one final image and that's looking very nice. All I need to do now, once I'm happy with that, is click on Done. And that's going to generate one final image for me of my combined aligned and blended photograph. All I need to do at this stage is grab the Crop tool Crop out the image just by clicking and dragging across the image, clicking on the little green tick, and that's now accepted that, and I have one perfectly good looking image. Let me grab the zoom tool and I'll zoom into that just a little bit so we can all see that. Press Control zero. And as you can see, we now have all four people smiling and eyes open. So if I turn this layer off, you can see there's before and there's after. So this photo merge group shot feature really allows you to edit this non-destructively. I can always turn this off and go back to my original image if I want. What you really need to be aware of though is that this image is a completely new image. You can see I now have a new one in my project bin and it's called Untitled-1. So if I wanted to keep this, I need to go and save that out now. So basically what this allows you to do is compensate for all the times that you have people blinking within your shots. If you have a digital camera and you decide to take maybe two or three shots of the one group of people, you'll be able to get away with coming into Photoshop Elements and using Photo Merge Group Shot. 